Hey guys, today I'm just gonna get ready for bed and show you how I like to relax at night before I go to sleep. So an hour or two before I go to bed, I really like to just begin winding down. I really believe a proper morning and evening routine is so important for our well-being. So in the evening, I like to just put on some calming music, anything that really relaxes me. I love putting on meditation music, crystal singing bowls, hand pan music, which you can see right here. I think the hand pan is my favorite instrument ever, or maybe it's the piano or harp, but right now it's the hand pan and I'm hopefully going to learn it one day. And I just like to put on this music and listen to it while I'm doing my dishes and cleaning up my kitchen because as you may already know, I do not like going to bed with a dirty kitchen. And then comes my favorite part of the evening, having my calming beverage of choice. So I like to make a warming drink with some herbs to help me to fall asleep. I have an assortment of drinks to choose from. I really like this Lavender Moon Milk by Botanica. It has ashwagandha, lavender, coconut, and tart cherries in it, so really good to help you fall asleep. And then I have this Vein and Vine Sweet Dreams, which has ashwagandha, shizandra berry, holy basil, passion flower leaf, Siberian ginger, brahmi leaf, skullcap, and peppermint. Or you can just go with a classic golden milk. I've been using this Harmonic Arts one. This also has ashwagandha in it. That's kind of the theme for all the calming beverages. And I also love the layered turmeric creamer for making a golden milk. Or you can just make yourself a calming cup of tea, like a classic chamomile tea. So to make my nightly drink, I just put my herbs in a cup and then add some warm almond milk or water. I like to add a little bit of maple syrup for sweetness and then just blend it up. And I really like topping my drinks with a nutmeg. It's one of my favorite spices. And I have myself a beautiful relaxing drink. I also take a few of my supplements before bed, so today I'm doing some liposomal vitamin C, my MSM powder, and some magnesium glycinate. Magnesium is especially good for relaxing, so I like to take it before bed if I'm not having a magnesium bath that night. Now I'm going to go into my bedroom and just turn on all my salt lamps so everything's cozy for when I go to bed. And speaking of bed, I have the world's comfiest bed. I'm still in love with my Birch mattress, and I want to thank Birch for sponsoring today's video. I've had my mattress for about 6 months now, and I'm incredibly happy with it. Birch is awesome. They make organic, non-toxic mattresses in the USA, made from just 4 sustainably sourced materials. Organic latex, New Zealand wool, American Steel Springs, and Organic Cotton. Birch has many third-party certifications to ensure that they're totally free from a long list of harmful chemicals. So you won't be getting any off-gassing like you would a traditional foam-based mattress. They've been tested for VOCs, chemical exposure, pollutants, folates, and formaldehyde. And since we spend so much of our life just sleeping in our beds, it's really important to me to make sure I'm getting the healthiest sleep possible. But yeah, I am so grateful I discovered Birch mattresses, not only for how pure they are, but also because it is the comfiest mattress I've ever owned. I didn't really realize how uncomfortable my previous mattress was until I got this mattress, but I love laying in my bed. And if you're wondering, it's very easy to buy a Birch mattress. You just buy it online and it's shipped free straight to your door in a box. And then when you open the box and take the mattress out, it just immediately expands and fluffs up. And with your Birch mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial and a 10 year warranty. And I recently got the Organic Plush Mattress Topper and their Organic Cotton Sheets. As you can tell, I'm extremely happy with this mattress, so if you're looking for a new bed, check Birch out. You can click the link in my description or go to birchliving.com slash holistic habits to get $200 off your mattress and two free pillows. But now let's go into my bathroom and get ready for bed. I like to hop into a warm shower or bath. I love taking a shower or bath at night because I feel like it just rinses off the day. It sort of just cleanses off negative energy and makes you feel so soft and clean before hopping into bed. 
And if I'm taking a bath, I'll put some magnesium flakes in or some bath salts with lavender just to help me relax even more. And now it's time for my nightly skincare. This is a very important part of my bedtime routine. So I'm starting here by just massaging some calendula cleansing oil into my skin. And with that oil on my skin, I do some gua sha to help relieve any tension I'm holding in my neck and in my face. I get into my shoulders, I do my jaw, my cheeks, my forehead, anywhere I hold tension. And then I take a warm, damp washcloth and just gently wipe the oil off my face. Tonight, I'm going to be using two different face masks. I'm using the Blue Beautify Bilberry Mask on most of my face, and then I'm going to spot treat this pimple with some of the Blue Beautify Charcoal Mask just to help deal with that spot. And while that mask is on, I'll just brush my hair to get out any tangles and help distribute the oils. Then I apply one pump of Argon Oil to my ends, and then I go ahead and rebraid my hair. I usually wear a braid or a loose twisted bun in my hair while I sleep just to help protect it. And of course I do all my dental care before bed as well. And then I spritz my face with some hydrosol. So I'm using the pure rose mist, but I also love using lavender hydrosol before bed. And then I just tap that in. I apply a bit of the Rose Hyaluronic Serum. I know this is pretty much the same routine I always show you guys, but I honestly have just been sticking to using the same things because this allows me to use up the products before they go bad. And then I apply some Chamomile Night Oil Serum. So I just take a few deep breaths with the oil on my hand to get those calming aromatherapy benefits. And then I just massage and pat that into my skin. And I've also been applying Jamaican black castor oil to my eyebrows and eyelashes every day before bed. Jamaican black castor oil helps condition your lashes and brows and helps them grow and just be beautiful and thick. You can apply it with a spoolie or just tap some in with your fingers. I just gently massage it all around my eyes. And finally, I use a little bit of lip serum to keep my lips chap free while I sleep. And that's my current nighttime skincare routine. And now back in the bedroom, I'm just gonna prep a few things for bed to help me sleep. So I love spraying my room with some essential oil sprays or just cleansing my room with a bit of Palo Santo. And I always love to sleep with a crystal. And you might think I'm crazy, but I've actually been sleeping with my big rose quartz sphere for the past couple weeks. Some of my favorite crystals for sleep are selenite, lithium quartz, amethyst, downbright, and of course, rose quartz. And as you may know, I've been really into sound healing lately, so I thought today I would play my Koshi chimes for you. I really want to start making guided meditation and sound healing videos for you guys. So for now, just sit back and enjoy the beautiful healing sounds of the chimes. So thank you guys so much for joining me as I got ready for bed tonight. I love you guys so much. Sweet dreams. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!